everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'd just like to do a drizzle swipe, rack spin, then balloon kiss um, using the Pouring Masters Ready to Pour paints. Now I'm just going to be using the special effects paints. They have like a color shift effect to them. And I'm just going to use how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. So I'm going to be putting down a lot of um, color. So I'm not going to use a base at all because I won't need it. And then I'm just going to use the global black paint as a cell activator. And it's been mixed with Australian Flow Troll just to the point where when drizzled back into the cup, it bounces back onto the stick after about three seconds. Um, it's better to describe it in that way rather than actual um, ratios because different paints mix differently and you might be wanting to use say Amsterdam oxide black or maybe Amsterdam lamp black either one works well as a cell activator or maybe a different color um, so without further ado I will do the um, colors tell you the colors as we go along but I also will have listed them in the description box um, below um, so as I say all of these are color shift paints they have not been mixed with anything they're all ready to go and the only one that has been mixed with anything is the cell activator so the first color I'm going to put down is the blue gold color shift so I'm just doing basically like a chevron effect just to drizzle the paints on there they're absolutely beautiful these colors this one is the Sunflower Iridescent. So I'll just try and fill up the gaps to start with so that we get the tile completely covered. And also making sure I cover the edges. So this is a really good one for those of you who are beginners. You can create something really beautiful and it's not difficult to do. And this is the Magic Aqua Violet. So just drizzle these on. Eventually, as you can see, the colors are all going to cover the base. This is peachy gold pink. And then the next one, which I absolutely love. Now this color looks beautiful on top of a black base. So I will do one of those in the next week or two because um, it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. So this is a blaze red gold. I've chosen to put this one near the top because I really love it. And then another one that looks beautiful on black as well is the wild purple iridescent. You can see I've nearly covered all the base now. So you can see why I didn't bother putting any base paint. You can see that one, it's just got this beautiful purple blue shift. Now this is one of the uh, violet interference paints, so they look white, uh, but when they dry, you can see the color shift in them. So this has got a um, violet color shift, just a little bit of that. And the Pouring Masters 24 karat gold, which is a beautiful gold, so it's just a little bit of that on there, I don't want too much. Right, so I think we've pretty much filled in all of our gaps. I can see a couple here where I can just spread that with my little spatula just to make sure the edges are all covered. When I spin it, they'll, they'll cover up anyway, but I just want to make sure I've got everything covered before I start doing anything else. So just the paint that's rolled over, I'm just pressing that against the side there. Now I'm just going to burst any bubbles. This is just a heat embossing tool that you can buy on the internet and it just blows the hot air and it will help to burst the bubbles. So next we're going to do a swipe. I'm just going to use a playing card. I find they're really good for swiping with. And I've got my cell activator mixed up into my little container here. Give it a bit of a stir. Okay, so just put about a centimeter 
sorry, I'm out of shot then, about a centimetre across the top of the card like that. Now you just gently swipe down as lightly as you can, enough that you're going to touch the paint, but not so much that you're going to wipe all the paint off. And a beautiful reaction straight away. Absolutely gorgeous. And then as you're coming off, try not to drag it along the edge. Let it just roll off there. Now we'll do the next one exactly the same. Okay, here we go. Always makes me shake when I'm doing this because I'm trying to control it so much. I haven't done a drizzle swipe wreck spin with these before, I don't think. As you can see, we've got lots of beautiful cells coming through there and all multicolored. And now I'm just going to get, this is a bamboo skewer. This is a large one. Oh, actually, it's a chopstick. I'll tell a lie, it's a chopstick. I'm just using the smaller end, which is still quite decent on this one. I'm just going to do some wrecking, which just means putting the skewer in and then dragging it around. As you can see, it just gives those beautiful lines there where the colours get dragged through. Absolutely gorgeous. And you can just put those wherever you want. I quite often make sure I put one through where I started, where there's a bit of black there. So I'll come from about here, bring the paint around, and then through that area. And I might put a little one through here. And probably another little one over here. Don't want to overdo it because I do want to put some little balloon kisses on this one as well. So now I'm just going to spin that out. I don't want to spin it too fast or too hard because I don't want to um, lose too much of the paint. About six turns. Have a little look. It's looking good. Now I'll do six the other way. So that's about six revolutions each way. And that is gorgeous. Okay. Now I want to um, do the little balloon kisses on here as well. That's so beautiful as it is. I almost don't want to touch it, but I'm going to because that's what I wanted to do today. So I've just blown up a balloon. It's just a normal standard balloon. I haven't put much air in it, as you can see. I just want this to be little balloon kisses. In fact, sometimes I do them with my finger um, so they're not so big. So I might actually use my finger on this one because I don't want to um, mess up my wrecking lines too much. So I want to do a little balloon kiss just in here, my finger pop, I should say. Just so that, oh, look at that. Beautiful. So I just want to get those little um, flower patterns or fairy patterns in there. I'm just doing it with my finger. It's, it's a lot more subtle. Uh, where will I do another one? Just in here. It's not going to wreck up my beautiful wrecking lines too much. They're really pretty. wherever you think you'd like them to be. Wouldn't mind one here at the beginning of that wrecking line. It's pretty. Another one in here. Mm. Don't want to overdo it either. Maybe just one in here. There we go. And that's probably enough. Um, I might just do this one again. Yeah, that's better. Sometimes just when you do them the second time, it helps bring up more colours. It's 
better. Okay. So that's about all I want to do with that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. You can see how simple that was. We've just literally drizzled paint straight out of the bottles. I've done the swipe, wrecked it, quick spin each way, and then I've just literally used my finger to bring in these beautiful little flowers. And that is it. And that is going to be an absolutely beautiful tile to make a lovely coaster. And that took me, what, five minutes at the max. Okay, so I'll now bring you guys down for a close-up. So here we are coming down for the close-up. I've got the torch on so that you can see the shimmer. And there you go. Absolutely beautiful. And when this dries, you'll really be able to see the colour shift colours more. At the moment, you know, they look like purple and orange and blue and so on. But once it dries, you'll really pick up the colour shift. So as you can see, there's my beautiful little wrecking lines and the lovely little finger pops there. More beautiful wrecking line with the finger pop. So that is just a really beautiful, simple little tile to make a lovely, lovely coaster. So I'll now make a set of six of those um, and I'm sure that someone will love them. So hope you enjoyed that one today, guys. And um, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.